Okay, this is the LMTV um, cab lift cylinder. And you know, it's got this unusual rod end on it. Um, it has a, a long opening inside, a long slot inside, and it's got a shorter slot inside that runs diagonally. Um, this large thicker plate is the, the, uh, the head of the cam that rides in the slot. Um, this is a little spring uh, that goes between the cam and the rod end uh, to keep this thing from flopping around. It just keeps a little bit of tension on it. Um, by design, this thing this thing freely rotates or should freely rotate inside the inside the rod end as the cylinder is raising or lowering. Right now, you'll notice it's aligned um, and pointing straight up at the cab floor, and it's aligned at in the short opening in the rod end. Uh, the reason for that is so it has control when it goes over the balance point. So this thing's setting pretty much right at the balance point. So I'm going to go ahead and pull it back over the balance point. Okay. And it'll start to lower now. And we'll just watch it as it comes down to a little bit better angle so you can see that rod end and the cam plate. Okay, so what you see here is this plate and the cam will rotate in relationship to the rod end as the cab comes down. cam is keeping maintaining its relationship to the cab as the cab rotates back down. Okay, there the cab is down now. And that plate still pointed straight up into the cab floor, but now since the cab's rotated, it's aligned it's aligned with the long slot in the rod end. The reason for this is because this cab's on an air suspension, it rides up and down. Um, if the cam doesn't align with the long slot at the bottom, uh, as this cab rides up and down, and I've got another short video looking at it from the front, as the, as the uh, cab bounces on the air suspension, um, it would tear up this mount and uh, do damage to the body because the cylinder, um, the cylinder and the hydraulics uh, don't have an open center function. Um, they're either in the raise or the lower position. So right now all this cylinder can do is go down. It can't go back up. Um, what the slot does is it allows the cab to free float on the end without transferring any of those stresses into the hydraulic system, into the, uh, the mounting structure for the hydraulic cylinder. Anyway, that's it.